I don't know, everybody, but it's for me next by accent to my life of Friends of His Magic. This is season 8, episode 21, A Rock Cliff in a Hard Place. So, I'm actually recording this one after the last one. And like I said in the last one, I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading these. Um, so, yeah, I wish I could upload these quite soon. But, hopefully, it will actually be soon. But not the day I'm recording it like I would like to do. So, um, yeah, everything's good to go, so I'm just going to get right into this in three, a two, a one. Okay, good. Hmm, this place again. <laughs> you're going to have to work faster than that if you plan to dig up my whole village, lass. Let me help. Uh, thank you, Rockhoof, but we're trying to carefully preserve every bit of history here. Yeah, which means I gotta work slowly. This is full of memories. Did I tell you about the time our chieftain knocked down five boulders with the kick of a wave ball? Oh, stop that! But uh, that's what this is for. Maybe in the past. Now it belongs in a museum. Safe, preserved, untouched. Ah. Next, you'll be saying I shouldn't have used the old sweat lodge. The old what? Oh dear. So, you see why Rockoof isn't an ideal fit for my team. Perhaps you could use his uh, unusual talents? Of course, Professor Fossil. We'd be honored to have a Professor Fossil? Okay then. That's a. Oh, that apple's made of wood. What a horrible trick to play. Oh, dear. <laughs> Has any pony seen my decorative centerpieces? They were right here. Lock up, got rid of them. Uh. All right, we're back. So join me in welcoming Professor Rockoop to our faculty. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you all. I know I'm new to your world, but there's one thing I learned when I saved my village from a rushing river of hot lava. There's nothing you can't do with hard work. And the shovel! Except maybe stand on stage. Oh boy, kind of collapse a little bit. Creature dismissed. We'll see you in class. You think that new pony is gonna be the weirdest teacher at school? Or just one of the weirdest? You're gonna like new teacher. He big, like yak. And he smashes things like a yak. Smells like a yak. Yes! He perfect. Really? Guys, he's one of the pillars. He's like pony history. Hello, class! Well, um, <clears throat> I'm uh, your new theory and defense of friendship teacher. But uh, I haven't had a chance to look at Headmare Twilight's notes yet. What have you all been learning? We just studied all about how Princess Celestia and Luna used a spell to trap Discord in stone sleep for hundreds of moons. Oh, so it's a class about stories, is it? Stories, yeah. And we never, ever, ever get homework. Good. The best way to teach colts and fillies is by experience. Like the time I was in the woods and ran across an Ursa Major. Really? And there's a major? You're not doing that, right? You fight Ursa Major? All alone? Aye, and I defeated her too. Now this I'm interested in. How Professor Rock could win? Well, that's quite a tale. From what Professor Fossil said, it sounds like Rockhoof just hasn't settled into modern times yet. Our yeah. school is the perfect place for that. Plus, we get a new teacher. <laughs> this may be the fastest friendship problem you ever solved. Uh oh. Dodge, thrust, shovel leap, shovel throw. Shovel whack. 
Now you lot be the Ursa Major. Lots of growl in mind. <laughs> Classrooms were less breakable in the old days. Yeah, he doesn't break a lot of stuff. <laughs> the huge beastie jumped out of the moonlit mist. There's some bangs at my throat, but I rolled clear. Then what? <laughs> Back me up against the wall, ready to pounce. <gasps> I looked at her, and she looked at me, and I say, Uh, Professor Rockoff? Nope, guess again. <clears throat> uh, oops. Sorry to interrupt. Class, why don't we go ahead and take lunch early today? Rocka, can we take a walk outside? <laughs> take a walk? Our school is about finding your own special way to teach. And we can already tell you're a smash with the class. <laughs> but maybe you could do a little less smashing in the classroom? Sorry about that. I did get a bit carried away. The students were so interested in my tail. Oh, oh, that stuff keeps getting in his face. Fire! Rocco, wait! No time! The building's ablaze! We have to get every pony out! Professor Rocco, best teacher ever! Day cannot get better! Let's get you outside, we ones! What the heck? Rock Hoof? What are you doing? Saving the school! Just like fighting a volcano in the good old days! Would some pony kindly explain what is the meaning of all this water? I'm not sure! But I think it's so sad! Sorry, Rarity, but I had to put out the rage in Inferno. Inferno? Where? Did you not see the smoke and flame? Yeah, that was us. You know, dragons, having a fire-breathing competition. You... what? <laughs> All the time. That's what we were trying to tell you. We know you're used to being a hero, Raku. Only, what we need here is a teacher. Yeah. One who doesn't ruin an entire class's friendship quilts. I don't know how hard it is to stitch a pineapple pattern. <sighs> My deepest apologies. I'm not used to living with dragons, or much else in this modern time. Professor Fossil made it clear I'm not welcome back in my old village. Seems I don't belong here either. Aww. Ah! Really pinky. of a new job is a lot harder than we thought. Has any pony had any luck? Uh-uh. Nope. Uh, uh, yeah. Hmm. I, I thought you were gonna try him out of the post office. We did. Oh boy. Do you know where I can find Cranky Doodle Donkey? I need to deliver his medicine. He has a rash in a very embarrassing place. Uh, uh. Oh, I did not need to hear that. No. <laughs> yep. Rockhoof's time as a spa masseuse didn't work out either. Now, just let me know if this is too much pressure. It was. Well, at least Rockhoof's really strong. Maybe we could find him a job carrying heavy stuff. I tried that already. Sigourney needed somebody to help her get supplies, but... Oh boy, how did he... I know you said you only needed a few leaves, but I figured why not bring you the whole thing? Ouch. Oh, how horrid. None of the other pillars seem to be having trouble fitting into the modern world. Then maybe they can show Rock of how they did it. Get him used to living in this time. Great idea. Rockhoof's old friends would be happy to help, and I bet he'd love to visit them. Where are they? <sighs> Even Canterlot looks different from the old days. Oh, 
I'm sure once you see your old pal Flash Magnus, you'll feel right at home. Flash Magnus. One, two, three, four. Trot, two, three, four. Keep it lively, rookies. He's a, he's a leader of the guards. Rock up, you old ditch digger, you. Flush Magnus, as I live and breathe. Is this your squadron? After we got out of limbo, I went looking for work for a pony with experience in the Royal Legion. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Princess Celestia was happy to find a new drill sergeant for her guard. Yeah, that's great. She really put you in a job that big so soon? Oh, this is nothing. You should see what Miss Main is up to. Miss Main? They made you the royal landscape artist for the Crystal Empire? Wow. Your work is beautiful. No, oh, thank you. Wow. I've never worked with Crystal before, but in my heart, I know I'm where I belong. You always could find the beauty in things, but there's not much demand for shovel ponies like me nowadays. Don't give up hope. See Somnambula. She'll help you find your purpose. Oh, what is Somnambula up to? Somnambula's a motivational speaker. Bet they didn't even have those back in your time. Because we didn't need them. Ponies knew what to do with their lives. Focus on my voice. And feel yourself unlock your potential. <sighs> Imagine everything that troubles you as one big cloud. Now, let it float away. You are relaxed, free to do anything you wish. <laughs> <laughs> like falling asleep. Mage Meadowbrook, your home looks just the same as the old days. Wish I could say the same for mine. Well, I've had to expand my clinic a bit. Many creatures need healing in this modern world. Oh, yeah. Looks like you could use some too. What's got you heart sick, Rockhoof? Thing is, I can't do my old job like Flash, or adapt like Miss Main, or succeed at something new like Somnabula, or go home like you. Give it time. Even Star Swirl's still learning about friendship. Yeah. And I bet Stygian took plenty of time to fit in. Hey, look what I found. <gasps> oh, Stygian, yeah. The third hit novel by former villain Stygian. I'm impressed. He's really thriving. Hmm. Ah. Okay then. Where are you going? I'm not sure. Maybe I just don't belong in this modern world. Uh, where is he gonna go? Right, mash of apples. Instead of solving Rockhoof's problem, we made him feel even worse. I'll tell you the real problem here. We haven't given Rockhoof the chance to be who he really is. A pony with a metal shovel and a heart of gold? A hero! What we need to do is find him a job that's as epic as he is. Hmm. I might know just the thing. What? I'm honored to serve in the Hippogriff Navy, General Seaspray. I promise I'll prove my worth. Think nothing of it. I know how hard it is to adapt to a new home. After our many years below the waves, land customs seemed strange. Like, you didn't fit in, no matter how hard you tried? As though the world had moved on without us. Never fear, Rockoff. We shall be as brothers in this bright future above the waves. So join in the Navy. The Griffs need ships if they can turn into sea ponies. Maybe they just like cruises? General, the fog's too thick to see our... Yeah, it does seem a little strange. Navigate the same way my cultic ancestors traveled through the silky mists. We'll look to the stars. There in the northwest sky is the constellation Bro Bridal's Pelt. Steer the ship toward that. 
You heard the pony crew make full sail. I hope this actually works. It doesn't actually crash them. No, he didn't. I don't understand. The stars have always steered me true. No, stars can move slowly over time. They must look different now than over a thousand years ago. It's yeah. Serving with you, Rockoff. But it seems our paths lie in different directions. Ah. <clears throat> Man, that sucks. Things happen. We'll think of something else for you to do. Oh, there's no need, lass. I already know what I want to do next. Really? What? I heard there's a statue spell that sends creatures into stone sleep. I want you to cast it on me. What? Uh, he wants to become a statue? Need me to help you decide something? Rockhoff wants me to cast a spell to turn him into a statue. The answer is no. Well, it should be I, because I wouldn't even be here to be turned into a statue if Twilight hadn't cast a spell in the first place. Whoa, I thought you were arguing. Yeah, he's got stars. a point. The answer is still no. Why would you want to be turned into stone? Because I'm a relic of a bygone age. I belong in a museum. Safe, reserved, untouched. I don't belong in this time. It's up to you to make that right. But there has to be a better way. Twilight, please understand. I want to be remembered as the hero I was, not the disappointment I've become. But you're not. Rock of weight! Spike, can you teach my class today? Uh, you're not really gonna turn into stone, are you? Only because it's temporary. As soon as I think of a new solution, we'll wake Rockhoof up. I know he has more to offer the world as a poem. Wait, what? She's actually gonna do it. Did you hear that Rockhoof caught all the bees in the Everfree Forest and gave him his core as a gift? Well, Tara Mar said Rockhoof called down the stars and sunk the whole Hippogriff Navy. He's definitely weird, but in a fun way. You never know what's gonna happen next with him. Professor Rockhoof, best pony! Hey, class. Welcome to the Theory and Defense of Friendship. Another sub? Let me start by telling you that we don't get homework and we only do field trips. Yeah, nice try. Uh, Twilight sent me to tell you she won't be in today because she has to cast a stone sleep spell on Rockhoof. <gasps> like Discord? But why? Rockhoof isn't a bad guy. Hmm. Your instructions are to write an essay on heroism and what it means to you. No. Oh, uh, don't worry. It doesn't have to be a long essay. I don't think that's what they're sad about. Like this? Oh, three legs. Hmm. What will give the wee birds fewer places to, uh, decorate? Professor Rockoff, Dragon said you want to turn into stone. You do not believe it. I, I'm afraid it's too much. Yeah. Paul, you need to finish first the major story for class. It's sweet of you to try to get me to stay, Yona, but I'm afraid old stories like mine aren't worth anything in this day and age. Fine! If Pony no want tell Yona story, then Yona tell Pony story. What kind of story? From class report. When Yona come to Pony school, Yona not fit in. Pony way strange, but Yona find friends. Yona meet Professor Rockhoof. Pony brave and strong as Yak, not afraid, hero. When Yona grow up, Yona want to be just like Professor Rocker. Well, uh, since you went to the trouble of writing something that nice, I suppose the least I could do is tell you the rest of the story. Okay. Yona tell whole school Rock of his best. Now I want to hear stories. Ah. Okay, I have the spell, but will you please reconsider? Rockhoof? The Ursa Major tried to grab me by the gullet by Dr. Claus. She had me cornered, so I look at her, she looks at me. And I say, 
Sorry you won't be having any dinner tonight, lass. Guess you'll just have to grin and bear it. <laughs> and then I tossed her away with my shovel high into the sky. And she's been a constellation up there ever since. Or so I'm told. And that's... Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. No, no, thank you for listening, but it's time to say goodbye. Wait, you said there wasn't anything in this time you were good at. What about telling stories? Storytelling? It's just a tall tale. One that captured the hearts and imagination of every creature here. Plus, pony stories super fun! <laughs> As the princess of friendship, I'd like to appoint you as Equestria's official keeper of tales. Can you do that? Eh. Eh. <laughs> very cool, okay then. But I still think these old bones are more suited to a museum display. You are a living record of our history. Your stories can inspire and teach generations to come. If you're a statue, that's all lost. But will I ever really belong in your world? Rock of Yona's friend. So rock up belong. You know, that reminds me of another story. Once there was a small <laughs> yak that knew more than a great hero. Hey, hey, don't forget the dragons in this one. Aye, there were dragons and ponies and plenty of hippogriffs. Plus a changeling and a griffin. Okay then. Not what I was actually expecting him to do, but maybe hoping that he would actually do something like that. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be it for this. Um, I do know that episode 22 is actually out, but I don't have enough data to get that, so I'll have to find another way to get it some at some point soon anyway. Anyway, um, this has been quite a fun episode as I always say at the end of every episode. So, hope that everybody enjoyed. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!